Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Actually, many of you have been asking me about a timetable to do a quick revision in anatomy just before exams. So this is mainly for undergraduates, those who are preparing for the MBBS, BDS exams and all. So I would like to say that uh, if you are just dedicating 15 days from your study leave period to anatomy, uh, you can very well finish uh, the anatomy topics. Provided you have a good knowledge of it beforehand. Uh, don't think that you can read all the topics for the first time in 15 days and finish it. So those who have read it thoroughly for two, twice or thrice, then it will be easy for you to do a quick revision in 15 days. So this is how I plan the timetable. Uh, this is the one which I usually give to my students. Uh, so uh, what, you what uh, I have seen done by most of the students are they will start with upper limb they will finish the upper limb in three or four days then even they will start lower limb then thorax abdomen uh, the toughest ones the neuroanatomy embryology and all they will keep it for the later period so what happens is the, by the time they appear for the exam the topics which they have read beforehand or from the upper limb and lower limb though they were easy they would have forgotten everything so what I usually ask the students to do is you actually distribute all the topics as if you will read one topic from each sub I mean subtopic each region like for the first day if you take upper limb you can take the pectoral region then lower limb you can read front of thigh thorax you have the thoracic cage abdomen you can read the anterior abdominal wall head and neck you can read the scalp and face brain you can start with the spinal cord histology you can read about the cartilage embryology you can read about spermatogenesis and eugenesis and one important point if you read like this is that you won't get bored of the topic because you are uh, reading different different topics so that it will stay in your mind uh, because uh, if you are just reading upper limb again and again the topics in a continuation you will get bored easily so this pattern will actually help you to remember the things as well as if you say by the 15th day if the six on the 16th day you are writing the exam if luck uh, favors you you have you, if you would have read all the topics sometimes from all the regions which you should uh, which will be asked for the exam because uh, if the last day you have read some topic from fetal circulation, special senses from the brain, then the blood supply lymphatics of the larynx, urinary bladder, urethra. So you have wide options of the topics which might come for the exam. Or else if you have read only neuroanatomy topics three days before the exam, only that will be there in your mind. So this is a simple layout of the topics which I usually give to the students. One more important point I would like to say is, Suppose on the first day, pectoral region, uh, when you consider the time already, you can distribute the time according to the topic which is tougher for you. Suppose you are not able to finish pectoral region in that stipulated time. What I would like to say is, you just write down the remaining part which have to be read. Don't postpone it for the next day because if you postpone it for the next day, then axilla will be pending. Likewise, all the topics of that particular day will keep on pending. So, whichever topic you couldn't finish, you just keep a paper and you just write down whichever topic which you couldn't finish. And by 16th day, you can just finish off all the topics which you couldn't finish on that particular day. So, this is just a thought from my, from my mind, mind and I think uh, most of my students have found it useful. So you please try and let me know whether it was useful to you. So a plan is what? A schedule is when? It takes both a plan and a schedule to get things done. So all the best wishes. Thank you.